Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Valmont. It is a pleasure to share in a chilly time out here on the Valmont Lake as I think about the wondrous joys of this season. For we are through Advent. We are through a time of expectation and preparation, and we have arrived in celebration. We can sing out our Alleluias, our Hosannas, our any other joyous word of which you can think. Noel, Christ is with us. We are celebrating the joyous season of our Lord's coming. And when I think about this time of joy, it is impossible to think about this season without the various carols that imbue it with life, that imbue it with verve and vigor, that fill it with the joyous news that our Lord is present with us. However, at the same time, while we have songs about angels singing on high, appearing to us in the glorious night of our Savior's birth, we do also receive some images that are a tad rosy for what probably was actually occurring in that stable with a young couple who is bringing a child into the world. Yes, we have words about a silent night. We have words about a child in a manger no crying he makes. We hear that news came upon a midnight clear. And while these images may be a tad rosy, they may not quite hit the mark with what truly occurred on the night of our Savior's birth. I do think that they capture a reality. They capture something that is true in metaphor. Because while stables and childbirth and unexpected guests don't really come with promises about stillness and quietude and peace, there is a truth in those metaphors about how Christmas does bring a stillness to us. Still, still, still. There is a peace that these songs grasp about how Christmas stills the anxiety, the nagging worry, the doubt. Because you see, with Christ coming to us, we know that we are not alone. We know the truth that the Incarnate One has stepped into all of the troubles of this life. He has stepped down to be with us, to be Emmanuel, God with us. And so all of our fears about God's judgment, about God's abandonment, can be still, they can be dismissed. Because Christ has come stays with us always. Christmas is the assurance that God will not abandon us. It is the assurance that Christ is in the midst of all things. And because of this stillness that Christmas offers, I think that I would encourage you today to join with the psalmist in remembering that you can let down your guard with God, that you can allow for your inner life to be opened up to God because God desires to be with you. And so thinking about the words of the psalmist, be still and know that I am God, I would invite for you to spend some time with me now in a breath prayer where we meditate on this truth. So as we breathe in, I will invite for you to think about the phrase, be still, 
as we hold our breath, the phrase, and know, and then as we release our breath, that I am God. So be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be, be at peace. Put your anxious thoughts to bed. Christ is with us. He knows the tears of our childhood. He knows the hustle, bustle of everyday life that crowds around us. And he invites for us to be at rest. And to be still and enjoy the presence of our incarnate still, for our God is with us. My friends at Belmont, I wish you an immeasurably joyous Christmas. Celebrate with your family, share it with your friends, and rest in the fact that our God is with us. Merry Christmas.